What's up my peeps, you run the title tonight, we're playing the deleted WWE game and I'm not talking about, don't, don't get your hopes up, I'm not talking about 2K21, not some secret agent that somehow got a hold of that, and also at the same time, I'm not talking about 2K20, I didn't say a game you want to delete, I'm talking about a game that 2K deleted themselves, and that game is WWE 2K, that's, that's literally the name of the game. Now for those of you who don't know, this was a game that was released back in 2015. This was pretty much the mobile version of 2K15. So yeah, I already had 2K15, which is, was a pretty bare bones game. That game had a lot of matches taken out, a lot of stuff taken out, and then you make a mobile version of it. Uh, I don't I don't see how the results can be favorable, but hey, they did it. They came out with it and uh, like lasted about two years and then the game was gone. It was removed off the app stores, uh, Google Play, iOS. Although what's odd is that you can still find it in the Amazon app store, but it'll probably say that it's incompatible with your devices. But I got it right here on the iPad because I did get this game right when it came out. And if you had it when it came out, you could re-download it. Uh, but just keep in mind, uh, it depends on the iOS version that you got, whether it's going to be compatible or not. Now, just like 2K15, this was also pretty bare bones. I just clicked on Quick Play. Oh, okay, so Quick Play, you get into a match straight away. All right, we'll deal with that. I did want to pick a character, but all right, let's, let's try out a match. It's been so long since I've played this. Now, one thing about this game that was actually better than 2K15 at the time was Roman Reigns' entrance because you actually had him coming out from the top of the crowd, something that 2K15, the console version of the game, actually didn't have. So in the trailer of this game, they showed that, and, and a bunch of people, myself included, were like, yo, whoa, how, how come this mobile version of the game has a better shield entrance than the actual console version of the game? Uh, but then you find out, they don't have full entrances in this game, they're like mini entrances. So as you just saw, Bray's entrance just ended. Yeah, it's kind of like your Battlegrounds entrances and TNA Impact game entrances and All-Stars entrances where it's just mini entrances basically to cover the stage and that's it. So I guess right here for the first match, we're just going to try out, I guess I, I think I'm Bray, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm assuming I'm Bray. Bray versus Randy, what a coincidence too because that's the few that's going on right now. I do not remember the controls, I do remember it not being that great though. Okay, so... See, I don't know what I'm doing here. We're just gonna try and win this match real quick and then hop into a career mode. And I think I'm playing as Bray. I'm pretty sure, no, am I Bray or Randy? Cause why do I see Randy's HUD? Actually, you know what, I might be. Okay, I think I'm Randy. Wait a minute, uh, maybe I'm Bray. Oh, so I am Bray. I am going towards a turnbuckle here. Might be a good decision, might be a bad one. Let's see, uh, bad one, okay. Oh, Randy's got a signature. Okay, I can tell cause it's a signature right there, pretty clear. And uh, we're going to try and stop that just, just by hitting him a bunch because that's the only thing I do know how to do. Oh, let me pause this. Oh, so, okay. Real bare bones too in the menus. Can't see the controls. Uh, let's let's take care of Randy somehow here. I just hit him when I guess... Okay, so it's telling me to swipe up with both fingers here. It's not working for some reason. Oh, that's the signature move. Oh, I'm supposed to swipe. I do remember that now. We hit the Uranagi and I, I should have the finisher, right? Why do I not have a finisher now? Uh, I guess I'll go for the cover then. Uh, one? Oh, okay. Basically, for the cover, it looks like you just pinch, because that's what I've been doing here, and it's been going, Bray's been going for the cover whenever I do that. I, man, these controls are confusing. Let me just dodge this, because I, I, I don't know, man. This, n not the greatest controls, all right? Uh, maybe I should have went through the, the tutorial mode, but who wants to do that? And then once I'm done with this match, I'm just going through the career mode, because I want to see what a career mode in, in this game is gonna look like. I don't think it's gonna be too great. But he's got the finisher. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> he's gonna hit this and I think it's over. Um, I'm gonna try and kick out, but chances are not gonna be able to. Let's go. Go for the cover, Randy. If you win, you win. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna go through. All right, good job. We're heading into career mode. Okay, so one in options. Didn't see a tutorial or anything like that. Oh, hold on a second. Training. I am multiplayer. Let's go in training. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, I went through some quick training. Now let's get into the career mode. So play and career. So we're gonna start the career mode here and uh, see what this looks like. This the list shows you matchups for each show this week. Scroll to see all the all of them. Don't care. Tap power rankings on the right side of the screen. Okay, don't care. 
Uh, the results, blah, blah, blah. I earned 300 respect or more at the end of the career. Just, let's just skip all of this. This is the opponent we're taking on, Tenacious Trap. So I guess there's a goal here of reverse a grapple three times. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Tenacious Trap hit in the parking lot and jumped you after last week's event. What was last week's event? He won't have anywhere to hide in tonight's match. Okay. So they just told me what happened. So uh, there's our character's entrance. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, you know, though, for, for a mobile game, the, the graphics weren't too bad. Especially for it being in 2K, I mean, 2015. I think this is pretty decent. Uh, now, I didn't choose the mask. There was just one option, and then you could choose the color of the mask. So just pointing that out in case you guys are wondering. His mask is obviously different. He's obviously also a lot chunkier. Now, I'm gonna try to win this match, okay? I, it went through the training, so I do know some stuff. Some more stuff. So once he gets here, now I know how to grapple. You, you just pinch. I, oh, we actually got that. But he did reverse it. Um, so I don't know what kind of difficulty this is going to be. If it's going to be hard or not. Since this is the first opponent, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of easy. Uh, I mean, it should. It's the first opponent. We're just starting. I don't even think there's a way to like decide the difficulty in this anyways. So... Gonna just go for another grapple here, and I mainly want to see what the career mode looks like. Are there any cutscenes or anything like that? I mean, we started off with no cutscene. Uh, basically, just the match. They told us, hey, this guy jumped us in the parking lot after last week's events. What are last week's events? We don't know. Just whatever. It's been a while since I went through a career mode in a WWE game. And I didn't think it was going to be in WWE 2K Mobile. This game's been dead for, for years. And this game was actually, unlike Supercard, this was not free. You had to pay for this game. You had to pay a whole 8 bucks for this. Hey, signature move. Let's go for it. Whatever. Whatever it is. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to swipe up. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked on uh, start or whatever. And uh, power 8? Um, um, is that good? Don't know. Now, I hit the signature here. But, but where's the finisher option, though? Am I not supposed to get a finisher after the signature? Anyways, hey, that was a quick win. There we go. We won. What happens next? Oh, there's loot boxes in this? Okay. Tap box to open. I just tap. I guess you gotta tap a bunch of times. What the hell is this? You have unlocked new custom superstar options. Oh, okay. So I guess new colors or something? Defeat Camel. What kind of name is that? Camel Larry Ed Batterson. Okay. Select your opponent. Okay, so that's Batterson, and that's Camel Larry. Two very different builds right there. And once again, it doesn't seem like we're getting a cutscene. We're just getting, like, these these descriptions of what these guys have done to us. Batterson sent you to the trainer's room with an injury. I wasn't injured. Now you're healed up and ready to take him on. And it, is this how the career mode is? And the other guy, Camel Larry, they said you were a washed-up has-been. Prove them wrong in your match tonight against Camel Larry. Now, why does it say they said? If if he's like, it's one person. It's not like a stable. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna go with uh, Camel Larry because I mean, look at his bell. What's he gonna do? Let's see what Camel Larry looks like. He's got the street entrance. That was one of the options in the create uh, create a character mode. Okay, so I guess that's that's the street entrance. Anyways, um, if if after this match. Well, there is no cutscene, and it just keeps on being like these descriptions of what these guys supposedly did to us when we haven't seen any of it. It's just text. There's no, you know, comic book, like, Battlegrounds or anything like that. It's just text telling you, hey, this guy did this to you, this guy did that to you. Basically, the game's snitching on what other superstars are saying or doing, but actually, nah, they're not really snitching. They're just telling us that apparently these guys are attackers, but we've got, like, no memory of any of that happening. Anyways, uh, let's just win this match real quick. We got a signature now. Let's get that 9 power maybe this time, or is it going to be 8 once again? Oh, actually, no, 12, okay. That's a lot. So I guess the signature has to be the finisher because uh, there's no finisher option, just a signature one, so, okay. That was real easy, and I'm fine with that. I'd rather an easy match here than a long match because this, this ain't necessarily the greatest gameplay. So it looks like this is the theme of... Of the career mode it's just hey this guy has done this this guy has done that rage raging case has challenged you to a match on superstars oh that's actually a new the q match there's a bunch of well the other one too nasty nate 
What kind of name? Nasty Nate. What kind of nasty stuff is this guy doing here? Uh, the backstage attacks from Nasty Nate have put him on the top of your list of enemies. Yo, we're gonna go with Nasty Nate. Hey, Nate looking real nasty right there. He's got that uh, Camel Larry build. Why is Nate not getting, walking like that? He, he's got a nasty walk. At least this match can let us showcase the weapon. What was that? I, uh, how, why are we holding the weapons like that? And like any, every, you guys saw just every single one of my strikes just not connecting while he had the chair. We got the signature, but I'm, I'm gonna hit him with the chair a couple more times and just finish this off. And then we're, we're out of this career mode because we know how this thing works. Basically a bunch of jobbers. Game tells you, hey, this guy said this about you. This guy did this. And that's it. That, 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 that's the entire career mode. No cutscenes. No nothing. No. Once again, I accidentally clicked on the thing. Anyways, yeah. No cutscenes. No comic books. No nothing. C career mode sucks. Let's pin him. Let's get this over with. Nasty Nate, you're out. Get your nasty. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I guess not. Um, okay. N N nasty Nate is... Uh, surprisingly nasty and resilient. Oh, okay, that's the, okay. Don't care for those objectives. No, I don't. Um, why is my character looking the other way? So, yeah, on top of having a pretty terrible career mode, controls are real off, targeting is real off. Um, not, not, not the smoothest of controls, not the best of controls, not the best of gameplay, uh, and really not the best of anything. Uh, is Nasty Nate really gonna beat me here? N nasty Nate is gonna be me? Okay, well, you know, if it was any other game, I'd care, but don't really care for this. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try and kick you out if he, if he goes for the, for the cover, but, you know, it's not like I'm gonna be real sad if I lose here. Alright, uh, 14, okay. Uh, come on. Oh, now I've got a finisher? It says finisher for the first time. Uh, just some type of uh, tiger driver, okay. Alright, cool. Now, can we, can we finish this, please? Actually go for the cover? Pin, yes. Oh, come on. Okay. Two. Three. I'm heading out. I'm heading out. I'm good. I know. I know. I saw Raw up next, but I'm good. I don't think there's going to be a cutscene anyways. Actually, you know what? Okay, just, just for the people that are curious, we're going to continue one more time. But if it's a match, if, if there's no cutscene, I'm out. All right? I'm not going to go through the whole match. Continue. No. See? Dean Ambrose has been talking... Th that that's this is the whole career mode garbage career mode anyways uh, I, I can see why this game died real quick one last thing we're just gonna see if anybody's actually playing this online so it's searching for a player I don't think we're gonna find a player but I'm just trying it out here maybe maybe somehow some way for some reason somebody is actually playing this game and searching for an opponent yeah nobody's playing this this game's dead